What's up YouTube, Speedy Sir P here once again with another set, this time on Hitmontop. I'm a little late today, I had some technical difficulties with the videos, and um, <clears throat> but I'm going to just re just start real quick. Onto the EV spread for Hitmontop, I decided to go for Jolly Nature since it, that if you look at Hitmontop stats, it, it has 95 base on attack and defense and 110 on special defense, and then it has 70 on speed, okay, and... So that 70 is pretty workable as you can see. <clears throat> so I decided to go with Jolly Nature just to make the best out of a little 70 base speed. And to add a little bit to it, you know, just invest full on speed and then full on attack and just four on hit points. Because Hitmontop can work bulky or offensive side either way. Um, just that we all know that he's never going to be a special attacker whatsoever. So don't use Vacuum Wave. Um, okay, so I gave it Life Orb so it has more power. And we're going to start with the Ability Technician because he does have three abilities, except that Steadfast is not really used much, as you can see, because um, all it does is increase your speed by one stage if, if it flinches. I know that could be helpful for some people, but I don't find Steadfast helpful. I find Intimidate and Technician more helpful than Steadfast. You could find Steadfast helpful if you know the other team has Fake Out users, but the only Fake Out users you would mostly know is Ludicolo, Low Bunny, uh, Metacham and such etc so um, for nature you could either go jolly or adamant either way whichever one you pl it pleases you if you want more power you want more speed depends on what you need so I'm um, just gonna start it with the moves I decided to go with fake out it does have all these moves have either 60 or lower base power so they get powered up by technician of course it's fake out the 100% flinch chance and then there's bullet punch the priority and coverage for fairies and rocks and ice and all them good type Pokemon that take advantage of everybody else. Then you have Bulldoze, which lowers your speed, 60 base power. You know, it's going to be powered up by Life Orb and Technician, all of these moves. And Rolling Kick um, is there. It does have 85 base accuracy, but 60 base power, 30% chance to flinch. If you hate the accuracy of Rolling Kick, you can always go for Mac Punch. And if you don't want to go for Mac Punch and you need flying coverage or some flying move, you can go for Aerial Ace. It is 60 base, it never misses, and it's powered up by Technician and Life Orb. <clears throat> I just prefer Rolling Kick because, you know, that who doesn't want to flinch? And you are going to be a little faster than usual since you are invested in full speed. So this is pretty much the first set. Now getting to the second set is an Intimidate Life Orb hit one top. This time I decided to go with Adamant. 156 on HP, two, full on attack, and just 100 on speed. So you have a pretty good investment on all of them. If you don't want to invest in speed whatsoever, you can always invest on one of the defenses if you wanted to. Um, and if you were to invest on defenses, I would recommend investing in the defense side. It is a 95 base defense. It, special defense is pretty much covered. It's 110. And just going to the moves. Of course, fake out cannot be passed along. You know, you can't let that move go, go to waste. And so you do get like a free turn. And that's, a, that's free damage right there. And then you have close combat. Which, remember, you, the recoil for the close combat is that it lowers both defenses by one stage. And it is a 120 base power attack, so it's a pretty good move. It's pretty useful at times, whenever you need that one extra power that you just need for last momentum. And then you have Bullet Punch, you know, which is for the fairies and ice and rocks and all those good types. It has priority, too, because him on top normally is pretty slow. Then there's Earthquake. And for last slot, for coverage, if you don't want Earthquake, you can always just go for either Stone Edge, or you could go for Rock Slide, or if you want to, if you don't want to hold Life Orb, you can just go for Thief if you wanted to, that's for the Technician, or if you want to be a Pursuit one, you can always go for Pursuit. I just prefer Earthquake, you know, because you do need that one coverage, and Earthquake is pretty useful in almost singles and battle. And singles and double battles, because in doubles you hit both, and in singles you get more coverage out of it. So it's pretty good. And Adamant Nature, remember. So um, the last one, it's uh, Screen Breaker slash Rapid Spinner. Because, I mean, Hitmontop is a top. Literally has the word top at the end. Why wouldn't he spin? But um, it is holding leftovers, and it is an Intimidate ability. Of course, you're going to have Rapid Spin for to get rid of Spikes, Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, Leak Seed, all those moves you can get rid of. All, almost all hazards. And then Brick Break is to break all screens that are put up, especially by Clef Key or 
any other screen user, for example, Chrysalia, um, you can just break the screens with Brick Break, and obviously they're not going to KO you because Cresselia has a low special attack, and it's just a very tanky Pokemon, okay? It's never going to be able to hit hard unless you really invest in Cresselia much, and which be it would be which would be wasting her defenses. But just getting back to hit on top, just Brick Break, you know, to break the screens. Of course, Fake Out once again because you do want that one flinch at the beginning, and then Bullet Punch, you know, this this set is not meant to be offensive it's not meant to be used you know to get the win um for the battle this is just to help you along and getting rid of the hazards and everything getting rid of all um setups that they're using that's pretty much this set now i decided to go with impish nature for this increasing defense and special uh increasing defense and decreasing special attack because again hit on top is never going to be a special attack with the base 35 that's just sad so uh, I did, I'm full invested in hit points, um, uh, 200 on defense and just 56 on special defense. He's just very invested in the defenses and the hit points. So this Hitmontop is not going to hit hard like the other Hitmontops with Life Orb. It is just going to be more durable than the other ones though. It is going to be rapid spinning and brick breaking and bullet punching and faking out, you know? That's all those good, cool moves. So... I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you like the sets for Hitman Top. If you like them, just give them a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Stay tuned for March. March is a really big month. It's coming up for the channel. It has, it has, I'm bringing a lot of things to the channel. Um, a lot of surprises for everybody. And it's just going to be pretty good. So stay tuned for the second video. I know I'm pretty late. Uh, it makes me kind of nervous. Okay, thank you.